Uh, Sarah, this story has absolutely blown up. Uh, what happened? Explain it to me. <laughs> um, I w I'm on tour with my band, Walk Off the Earth, right now. Yeah. And uh, I was traveling with my son and my nanny out to from Salt Lake City to Vancouver um, with a stopover in San Francisco. And, you know, my son was just having a fussy day. He was... He was upset on the airplane during um, during when we were starting to taxi, and he was crying, and he was squiggling around a little bit. I had him on my lap. He's still considered an infant, sure. so I travel with him on my lap until he's two. And I was approached by two flight attendants at different times telling me that I needed to control my child, that since I was the parent, I should be able to calm him down. Um... I was holding him on my lap the whole time, just saying, you know, I'm doing my best. I'm seven months pregnant at the same time, so I was right. kind of doing, doing what I needed to do. I know how to fly with my child. I've been doing it for almost two years, so I know the procedures. And um, during the taxi, uh, he eventually did fall asleep after about seven minutes of crying, and then the plane stopped, and the pilot claimed that we were turning around to refuel the plane to get us to Vancouver faster, which I thought was really strange. And then uh, by the time we got back to the gate and my son was again fully asleep at this point, another lady approached me and asked us to leave the plane. Okay, so their statement, this is, I'm sure you, you know this, but let's go over this right here. They say, despite numerous requests, the child was not seated as required by federal regulation to ensure passenger safety and was repeatedly in the aisle of the aircraft before departure and during taxi. Is there any truth to this statement or is this completely made up on their part? It's completely made up, especially considering that we had a window seat and there was a gentleman beside me um, in the aisle seat, so I, you know, unless my son was climbing over that gentleman and running right. around in the aisles like a wild child, that is definitely not the case. Again, I've flown with him many times, and I know the procedure, now, and he was in my lap the whole time. Was, was, was he ever on the floor in front of you, between your knees and the seat in front of you, or anything like that? Not during taxiing, not, definitely not during taxiing. I was holding him so tight. Yeah. He was he was very upset. And uh, what uh what makes this good for you? What are you what are you looking for? What are you hoping to get from United? Um it doesn't it doesn't make anything look good for me. I yeah. travel for a living. It's, it's not something I don't like making big deals out of things ever. Um I just felt like it was really wrong and uh, I felt like no. It was, a, a lot of families probably go through situations like this and never hear back when they make a complaint, yeah. never hear back when they, they feel like they've been treated, like, you know, improperly. But is, and, um, is it an apology you're looking for? Is it compensation you're hoping to, to get? Um, at this point right now, I just want an apology would be, would be so nice. Yeah. Um, Mom? I and again, I had there were people Mom? around me who who have written on the Facebook site of Mom? of United mentioning that they were Mom? on the flight two rows away and that the flight attendant was completely out of line. Yeah. Did anybody? And, uh, did anybody? Did anybody stand up? Did anybody stick up for you when they were uh, kicking you guys off the flight? Yeah, there was uh, one woman. There was a few people that stood up and said, "That's this is ridiculous. You can't do this." Yeah. There was one lady in particular who was gathering emails from people so that she could give them to me to, you know, to make a statement. I know her. She's actually a tour manager on our tour with us. Right, right. And she stayed on the flight. But they also threatened to kick her off if she continued to ask people for their information. So really? It was, yeah, it was uh, really just like a big mess over nothing. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to say, did you stand up and say, do you know who I am? But... Did they know who you were? Um, no, and I absolutely would never do that. I'm not the type of person to do something like that. I feel like no. my justice shouldn't be served because I am more of a public no. figure than anyone else. It's a situation that I'm sure many people have been through, yeah. and it was just not right, period. Uh, so I, w I never would stand up and say, you know, do you know who I am? Because the lady didn't know who I was, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. <laughs> right. Uh, have you been contacted by anybody uh, who wants to help you legally with this? I have been, yes. You have? Yes. 
And what, what's your next step with that? I honestly, it's been such a crazy day that I don't really have a comment on that. Um, Mom. You know, that's something that I'm going to look into later on today after all the craziness. <laughs> but you, you will look into whatever sort of legal uh, case you have. Well, I mean, I'm going to look into every option that I have to get the word out there because I just feel like we were unfairly treated, and I'm sure this has happened to a lot of people. Again, if you go to United Airlines Facebook or Twitter pages, it's yeah. full of complaints. And, um, uh, and the, the video that you posted, I think that this was after you had been kicked off the plane. Uh, explain what was happening in that video. Who were you talking to? Um, that was the customer service rep um, that they, they sent us to the customer service desk to go, you know, get, put us on another airplane. Right. Um, and she was, she just didn't really, she'd never heard of a situation like that before. She was very mind boggled. Also, didn't, she said, this has never happened, um, you know, and then she was eventually the person that helped us get onto another flight. She was actually very kind and very, very sweet. And uh, as it is right now, uh, you have any plans to fly United again? <laughs> not, um, not intentionally. I mean, <laughs> I again, I travel for a living with my band, so yeah. sometimes who you fly with is out of your control. But definitely not uh, intentionally. No. Wonderful. And uh, is there anything that uh, that has happened within the last couple of hours that may be new that we don't know about yet that you want to say? No. I mean, my side of the story is very straightforward and. Again, I just wanted to put it out there because as a mother who travels and works full-time as a full-time mother, it's not easy. And to, to put somebody through that when it was really unnecessarily, not only according to me, but also according to many of the passengers on the plane, was just really, just really embarrassing and really, I think, was, was, not, was not a good thing. <laughs> hey, sir, uh, thank you so much for talking to us today. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, you take care. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye.